Hello there and thanks for watching the video. This video is going to be about Craigslist. I have a family member who had asked me, well, what is Craigslist? I guess she was having a conversation with one of her girlfriends and, and it came up. Um, Craigslist, well, it's not surprising because Craigslist is, is absolutely huge and very, very popular. But uh, she asked me, well, I don't know what it, what is it and how do you use it? So I'm going to do a series of videos really mainly for her. Um, these are going to be, this, this, this video series is going to be very, very, very basic information. A little bit later, I will be showing you some tips and tricks on how to use it. I will definitely be doing a video um, covering uh, Craigslist safety. But in this video, we're just going to talk about what Craigslist is. Well, what you have to do is, you, let's start at the very basics. First thing is you got to get to Craigslist, and you get to it on the internet. So open up a browser and type in www.craigslist.org which you can see right up here, and it will bring you to this page. Now, from this page, you'll see a couple different things. Um, you'll see the big map in the front, and then you'll see all these links down here at the bottom, and they are split up, like for the U.S., they're split up by state. Um, and it, the further you go down, you know, that there'll be, you know, Canada down here. Everywhere you see a purple dot is where they have a Craigslist. So you can actually use Craigslist all over the world. Um, this isn't specific to just the United States. It is a very, very popular uh, venue here. I'm surprised it's not used more in places like the Philippines, as, as a great example, because it's a it's a great way to uh, to advertise your goods and be able to get you know get things sold, bought and sold, and hopefully you know, um, uh, like I said, you'll be able to make some money or get a good deal. Well, back to what Craigslist is. Craigslist is classified ads, and you you you'll you'll basically uh, you'll what you'll do, relate this to the old classified ads in newspapers from a long time ago or you know the magazine set the back of magazine sections um, it's where people have stuff that they want to they want to sell and if you're looking to buy something this is a good place to go um, Craigslist is actually more than that and when we go to one of these sections I'll show you a little bit more in depth okay but for now how do you get around once you get to this page like I said every one of these purple dots that you see up here um, is a location it's not all the locations um, when you're zoomed out so as an example if I come up here to the map and I zoom in and basically I mouse over the section that I want to zoom in on and then I click my scroll mouse forward that zooms me in okay and I'm just going one click at a time and you see how more and more and more uh, of those purple squares or purple circles are popping up okay so then you get far enough in, it'll actually, you know, change what it, what the map looks like. Um, and if you click and drag, so as an example, you see you see how the cursor is a hand, okay? Um, the left, your left click button, if you click and hold it, you'll see that hand close, and it's like it's grabbing the map. And as long as you hold that that left uh, left mouse button down, it's it's like it's grabbing it and it's holding it. As soon as you let go of it, it, it'll open up, and you'll actually see the graphic of the hand change. So I'm going to go ahead and click it so you can see what it does here. See how it closed? And as soon as I start to move it, um, I'm moving it by, by holding the left mouse button down, and then basically what that allows me to do is drag the, uh, the map uh, to whatever view that I want. Okay? And then when I let go, it, the hand opens up, and it's like it lets go of the map, and then I can move it around again. Okay, that's what we call clicking and dragging. Um, I know that's really basic, you guys, so like I said, understand the audience that I'm making these videos for. Uh, you probably already knew that, but um, other people, you know, different levels, all right? So that's clicking and dragging. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll in a little bit more, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Indianapolis section. Let's go down here to Indianapolis, okay, um, just to kind of help, help this a little bit better for you. Um, so down here in Indianapolis, you see that, that, that there's the purple uh, circle. If you mouse over the purple circle, you see that the hand now turns to a finger. Well, if you click on it, the little speech bubble will come up tell you what location that is. It's actually Indianapolis. Uh, why is that important? Um, I'll give you an example. Let's look at this one right here. This one right here doesn't have, you know, it's not showing up on the map that that the name of the city or the location here just like this one or this one so if you click on it let's let's use this one right here if you click on it it will tell you what it is okay 
Um, now understand that all these all these uh, purple uh, links, if you will, these purple circles, all correspond to these down here. It may be quicker for you if you already know what you're looking for. So like down here, here's um, Indianapolis, which we see right here corresponds to this one. There's Kokomo, which we just looked at a minute ago that corresponds to that one. Uh, this one happens to be Lafayette, West Lafayette. Um, that'd be this one here. Um, it's actually not called that. It's called Tippecanoe for, for Tippecanoe County. Um, but it may be easier to go down here and look down through here and find your location, but you can use either or. They all correspond to the same thing. This one up here is more graphical. This one down here is just text and links. So as an example, you know, we're going to go ahead and click on Indianapolis. And let's go ahead and open it up. Now this is your local Craigslist site. And this is the, the main page uh, for the local area. Okay, you see at the top it says Indianapolis right up here. Um, this section right here is probably the one you're going to be most interested in. Um, this is the for sale section and it is broken up into various categories. Okay, just decide what you want to look for and then click on that and then that takes you to the ads. Um, additionally, and I talked about this a second ago, I said I would get into this. It also has, you see, job listings in here, just like the old classifieds did. They had job listings. Well, you have the same thing over here. And it's broken up into various categories as well. There's several other, you know, sections in here. I'm not going to get into all of them. Um, uh, but you know, up here, I should touch on this. Up here is the housing section. If you're looking to buy a house, it's not going to be, even though it's it would be for sale, it's not going to be in this section. It will it has its own entire section, okay? Um, and if you're looking to buy a house, you know, you probably want this one, real estate for sale, okay? But if you're wanting to rent, you know, you go to apartments and housing up here, and that's where the ones for rent are. And then they have, you know, office and commercial. There's, you know, parking and storage. There's various sections in here. Just look around. doesn't cost anything to look around. Go, you know, just bounce through here and just take a look and explore the site a little bit. Don't be afraid. The back button is your friend. So if you get to, you know, you open up something and you're wanting to get back to your search results, use the back button. It works great. Okay. So, so as an example, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to show you kind of exactly what, what you're going to, you're going to see. So let's say, for instance, you're looking to buy a car. All right. Well, you go down here to cars and trucks. Click on it, and now it's going to open up this section, which is subsections. Okay, you can either you can either. And I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the first one because we'll we'll talk about the, the second two. Um, this one says by owner only, so it's a for sale by owner. So cars and trucks that are that are being that are posted, the ads are in here. Um, in this section, should only be private party, no dealers. Now that doesn't always work. I can tell you from experience. I bought a Celica, you know, a, a few months ago, and it was listed under the owner section, and it turned out to be a dealer. So that kind of stuff does happen. They get around it because if if it's for sale by owner, you don't have to pay a fee. If you're a dealer, you have to pay a fee. And even even though they're in the business and they're making money off of this and they're using this in a professional capacity, they still don't want to pay any money to use it. So a little bit shady, but they do that. Anyway, but that's that's the one I'm going to click on. So we'll click on uh, by owner. The the second one, you know, was dealer. That was underneath it. And, and the very first one said all. And that will list both. Basically, it, there's no filter. It, it's, it'll, it'll, it'll show you all the ads that are for sale by owner and for sale by dealer. Okay. That was the first one. That's why it says all. All right. So now we're in the search cars and trucks by owner. So this is for sale by owner. Um, and let's say that in this section, maybe, maybe you have something specific that you're looking for. Um, maybe you just want a truck. Maybe you don't want a car. Maybe you want a truck. Um, well, you go up here to the search bar right up here at the top where it says search cars and trucks by owner, click on it and you'll see you get a little cursor. Now type in truck if that's what you're looking for and then hit enter. Okay. All right. So now. All the ads that have truck in the title or the word truck in the ad, in the text of the ad. And I'll open up an ad here in a little bit um, so you can see what I'm talking about. 
um, will show up in here. So sometimes when you, as I say sometimes, sometimes when you scroll through here, you'll see something that doesn't qualify. Um, you may see a car, you know, listed in here, and I know that there's there's got to be one. Well, there's a Jeep. That's not a truck. Oh, they they called it a truck though. Oh, I guess it is. They just took off the back end anyway, and now they're calling it a truck. Whatever. People people often try to get very creative with their listings to try to get as much exposure as they can, and you can't really blame them for that. But anyway, so I'm let me not go through all this. Let me show you how to uh, um filter it down even better so you can find what you want. So as an example, let's say let's say I'm not looking for just any truck. Maybe I'm looking for like this, like a box truck. So I can go back up here. And I can type in box and do a search. You see how it says box truck. So I can do a search for box truck. And what that's going to do is it's going to filter it out. So now it's looking for box, the words, actually the words box and truck in the same, um, either the title or in the, uh, in the, the, the description, the text of the ads. But you'll notice down through here now, the only ones that pop up are actually for the most part, box trucks. But like I said, you get you get some that are a little bit different. See, like here's one. It says it's a refrigerator truck, but it's it's really just a refrigerated cab. Let's let's see this because, yeah, they're they're calling this a reefer truck, and quite frankly, it's a pickup with a with a maybe a, an insulated cab on it that they that they made or something like that. Um, it's up to you. You know, you go in and look at the, look at the various various ads, and see what what interests you. Um, so, as an example, like if I'm looking through here, and I, I do actually, I am actually in the process of looking for a box truck, which is why I'm using this this example. Um, there's several of these that do um, definitely uh, appeal. So look at this. This here's a great big box truck, fifty thousand miles. Pretty pretty nice, really. Um, it's older. They want six thousand dollars now. To be fair, I don't have six thousand dollars to spend on it um, for my project. But you can look at the pictures, and you just mouse over the pictures. Sometimes when you mouse over them, they'll automatically display. Um, other times they don't. It may look a little different in your browser, but it should all work the same. Um, but if you click on them, it'll show you the different pictures. Uh, read the description down here. Um, and as an example, for like a a vehicle I always check the the title status for sure um, I actually seen one that was listed with a lien on it now why would I pay for a truck that already has a lien on it that's stupid because you're gonna lose that um, anyway so as I'm looking down through here here's another one that's great 12,975 now that's not even worth me clicking on well how do we get it down to um, to filter out the ones that I can't even afford okay well, that's easy enough. Let's say I've got, you know, I, I, I want to look at anything that's $5,000 or less. Let's let's just say that. Um, so you go over here to the left section, and you see price. Um, there's a minimum, maximum. I click on the max, and I'll go down here. Here's $5,000. Um, I'll click on that, or I'll, I'll type in. Actually, you can just type it in, $5,000, and then hit Enter. And when you hit Enter, it's going to filter them out. Now, you see all these little, the little price numbers at the top corner. Um, that's what it's filtering. What you're also going to find out are people will oftentimes put in like a one. Uh, they'll put in a really low number even though they want a lot more money for it. And they do that basically just to get you to click on it. Or they won't put a number up here at all. Um, this is a good way to filter those out. So those of you who are putting posts out there and not including a price, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Make sure you put a price in. Because quite frankly, you know, people use this. Okay. And if you're not putting a price in or you're putting a stupidly low price in here, um, then it's pretty easy to see through through that. Um, in any case, and you're, you're just wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You're wasting their time because the idea is this is business 101. Match your product or service with your target market. People, you know, why, why sit there and say, hey, you can get my box truck for $19,000. But the person who's, who's actively looking only has in this in this only has like five thousand dollars to spend well that's that's a waste of everybody's time don't do that it's inefficient anyway looking down through here okay so now I've, I've I've narrowed it down to what I should B 
be able to potentially purchase. So now I look down through here, see if I can spot anything that that interests me or, or um, sparks my my interest. You know, so I can click on it and, and check it out. But what I kind of want to do is I want to show you down here. Once you get down to the bottom, let me go ahead and go back up here at the top. At the top here, it'll actually tell you how many uh, ads have come up in your search results. This says 38. So when if you counted all these up, it would be 38. And then you get down here, and then there's a line. It'll say, few local results found here, some nearby areas. Clicking include nearby areas will expand your search. What that does is that's over here, this little checkbox. If you click on that, all of these get included at the top. And quite frankly, I think it's better to keep them separate. The, the ones up that are listed first are most local. Um, these down here kind of expand the areas, expand your search radius out. So as an example, like, like we're, we're looking in Indianapolis, but you go down here, and this truck right here is an example. Nice flatbed, 2500 bucks, probably a pretty good deal. Looks to be a really good deal, but it's in the Lafayette area. You see, that's not, that's not Indianapolis. So that being said, um, you know, here's another one reefer truck it doesn't give a location but we know it's not actually in um, Indianapolis so like this one over here is in Terre Haute you know um, this one's in Marion yeah like I said what this does is expands your search it gives you more search results um, in a wider area to try to help you find what it is that you're looking for but the, the main thing is to keep in mind that this line kind of separates the two make make sure that you, you're aware of that because if you're not willing to travel out of your more or less immediate area, then it makes very little sense to look down here. Um, but it's kind of nice in that in that capacity that they offer that to you. So that's how how you basically look for something that you that you want. Um, this up here will search the text and the titles and help to narrow it down. Um, this over here helps you. These are filters. Um, X number of miles from your zip code, you can type that in. I've kind of figured out that that is not always really, really very accurate at all. Um, the price, this one is definitely very useful. I use this a lot. You can use make and model. Um, that's only if somebody puts it in, in the actual listing. So that will severely restrict um, your search results. I don't recommend using that. Model year, you may have, you know, I don't want it to be older than, let's say I don't want it to be older than a 2000. So if I wanted to do that, the minimum, I can put in 2,000. Say I want it, I want, I want a vehicle made this century, which is funny. But when I type that in, see it filters everything out. Nothing that was older, theoretically older than 2,000 should show up. Now this one did. This is an 83. But what's funny is I click on it and go down here. They've probably got it listed as newer. Yeah, they they wrote in 2016. What idiots! That's freaking stupid. If I don't want a 1983, I want something 2000 or newer, now this shows up in the search results, and why? For, for what reason? That's not a, that, that's an 83. It, that's why I'm saying, people, be, be more accurate. Be efficient with your, with your posting so you can match up the people that are actively looking for your product. It's, it's stupid to try to sit there and fool people. I don't know why why you feel the need to do stupid shit like that anyway but you know running through here doing this like i said now it's it's filtered all these the nice thing is it'll filter all these down here too so remember we had a bunch more a little while ago well now all of these are theoretically they they should be listed as 2000 or newer see so like i said so that that can come in pretty handy now i'm not really all that you know you can you can um, click on it and erase it, and then go down here and update search, and it'll put all the other ones back. Okay, um, let's let's open up one of these. There was there was actually one that I I thought was a really good deal down here and had had good information on it. So we'll see. I think I think it showed up in Chicago though. Anyway, okay, maybe not so much. Um, we'll just click on any any of these then up here. Um, let's click on this one. Okay, here's a 2003 box truck with a Tommy lift gate for 4,900. Um, like I said, you, you can click on the uh, the pictures, take a look. 
Um, this is essentially how it works. You know, read what you have down here, um, what they have to say about it. Uh, it's buyer beware on steroids when it comes to Craigslist. I'll be doing an entire video before you actually go out and try to uh, purchase one of these. Please, please check out my video that, that I'll be making right after this one that covers um, uh, safety, you know, Craigslist safety. Um, uh, just a few tips that you can implement do not deviate from you know implement them to make sure you're as safe as possible there's there's been like I said there was there was a uh, a report that came out from the Indianapolis Metro Police Department a little while back that said that there was um, a, a hike in Craigslist related uh, crime and people do this you know I mean you have to understand here's here's the most important thing to keep in mind anybody can list on Craigslist and they can say whatever they want for the most part so you know you, you may come across, you know, and you are definitely going to come across bogus ads uh, where people are just, they're either wanting your email, your contact information, and maybe just complete BS, uh, the ad itself, and they're just farming. Or it may be somebody who's who's looking to to rob you, okay? So, you know, take keep that kind of stuff in consideration. Definitely watch that uh, that video that I'll be doing next um, on, on Craigslist Safety before you go try it. Okay, so that being said, hopefully this has kind of explained to you what Craigslist is and uh, a little bit about how to use it if, if you're looking to buy something. Um, I will do other videos and, sh and kind of show you how to post. Um, if there's enough interest in that, I can show you how to you know create an account because, like I said, you have to have an account with Craigslist in order to post ads, to put ads up, to sell stuff. If you want to buy stuff, it doesn't cost anything to go in here and look around. Um, oh, by the way, let me go ahead and, you know, let's go ahead and click on that one again. Um, the information, in order to get in contact with this person, I should have covered this. Click on the reply button up here at the top. And what this is going to do is this is going to give you um, information based on, uh, or uh, the information that they put in as far as this goes. So this guy's name is Jay. Here's the text. Yeah, all he wants is text. Now, pay close attention to this because uh, it, you know, in this section here, it, it, it can say call or text, or it can say call or text, um, which means that that's, if it says text, like this one says text, they only want to converse through text. They, they don't have any desire to talk to you on the phone. So don't call them. You know, they're, they're specifying in here that this is the way they prefer to do it. And if you don't want to get them on your nerves, or you don't want to get on their nerves and you want to get get that whatever it is that they're selling, you want to be able to buy it, that your best bet's not to make them mad. And if you're a seller, definitely use that. You know, don't put call or text and then get mad when somebody calls you. You know, be specific. Like I said, tailor your posts. You know, tailor your ads um, to how you want to do it. Um, but like here, they, they have a number put up in order to get hold of this. Um, you can also reply to them, send them an email message, like like this one right here where it says reply by email. If I click on that, it will open up um, my uh, email client and basically set it up so that I can just email them. Um, and if you do, if that doesn't work, if you're using webmail, there's these links down here. If you're using Gmail, you can click on that one, Yahoo Mail, Outlook, Hotmail, whatever, Live Mail, AOL. Um, they've got those listed here you can use those if you're using those those specific webmail links and if you're not you can come down here and you can highlight this whoops you can highlight this and you can right click and you can copy like that um and then you can paste that into the recipient's email address in your whatever web or whatever uh, email program that you're using that's the address to send it and I know it looks, look at that again, I know it looks all funny, but this is a way of trying to protect the person's actual email address. This is also why you have to have an account um, if you want to sell something through Craigslist. Because what this what Craigslist does is they, you send them an email, or you send this person, you reply to this, it will go through Craigslist servers and then forward it for you to kind of keep you uh, and keep the seller a, a, a bit more anonymous so that, you know, people like to go through here and they love to try to farm email addresses. Um, so that being said, that's that's how you get hold of them. And basically you're going to conduct your, your you know, correspondence with them the same way you would if you were responding to a classified ad 
you know, back in the day. And if not, um, if you've not ever done it before, then what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, get hold of them through text or through uh, through email. I recommend email if you can. A lot of times you don't get the replies. Um, I do have some other tips, you know, for that will be in the safety um, section that protects your identity a little bit better um, for people that like to like the farm. You know, like I said, you, what you don't want is you don't want to start getting a bunch of spam in your in your email or you know being texted to your phone. And there are some ways around that. So, uh, with that being said, hopefully this has helped you out. Um, be safe out there. You know, Craigslist is an incredibly great, it's just a wonderful tool and uh, a place to find some really great deals. You know, Craigslist, eBay, and Amazon are definitely, you know, my three staples when it comes to, you know, trying to find something. Um, on this particular channel, uh, you know, I'm going to be talking a lot about on this channel about how to make money online, and Craigslist is definitely a a tool that you can use to make money online. And buying and selling is definitely one of those ways. So if you're interested in how to make money online using Craigslist, then stay tuned um, to the channel. Definitely subscribe uh, because I will be putting those kind of videos out here very soon. Um, but like I said, I, I created this channel and I, I wanted to uh, give this information out to my family member. Hopefully it's helped you out. If it has, again, please like, subscribe, and share the video You know, for anybody that you know that may want some of the basics about what is Craigslist and how do you use it. Okay, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much and have a great day and stay tuned for future videos.